Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing video. Today I'm going to be unboxing a TP-Link 16 port gigabit desktop rack mount switch. So it's got 16 gigabit ports. The activity lights are over here, not here. So these are kind of better. There is a cat up in the corner. Um, yeah, um, it's okay. Just talking to the cat. Um, there's some of the specs just there. This is passively cooled. Some um, you can see the cat down the side there. 10, 100, 1000. So that means up to 1 gigabit speeds. 32 gigabit switching capability. So it's got lots of switching capability. Um, and it's operating temperature from 0 to 40 degrees. Not sure how hot, um, my server room is going to be, but might be a bit more than that. On the back here, you can see some other products I have. This one's meant for connecting desktops, printers, laptops. Then you're meant to get this managed one for your server. But I'm going to use this one for a server, and I'm going to get I'm going to use a pair of sense router, not a TP-Link router. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first thing, the cat is climbing into a basket. His name's Storm. And yeah. So, you'll start by undoing the box. Fold it open. Sorry if there's a bit of camera trap on the set. Inside, you've got the instruction manual, installation guide, warranty, all kinds of stuff. But also, I'd probably mention this as a free warranty. It's really good warranty. Uh, let's start with the accessories. Get IC cable, standard IC to standard 10 amp power cable. Then you get this box on in this bag. Get rack mounts and feet. Feet are optional. If you want a rack mount, don't put the feet on because then it will have then it will be more than one rack unit. If you want a rack mount, just put the ears on. I'm just going to put the ears on. Not worry about the feet. That's all the accessories. And then you basically just get the switch. Two nice bits of foam on the side. Just pull them off. It's simple. Sorry the camera's a bit blurry now, but you can see what I'm doing. Take off the plastic. On the front, you can see you've got your 16 ports. Sorry this, this is out of focus. You see the cat in the back in there. Come on, pull focus. I don't know, but they're labelled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. Um, some people prefer them one, two, three, four, but it's fine. Got your activity lights, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, same as the other one. Then you got TP Link logo model. Um, yeah, I'll put the model in the description. Sorry about this whole clip's been blurry. Very nice. IC connector and a grounding terminal. You don't need to ground this off of this. You can ground it off of the IC. But, yeah. It is optional to use that. I probably will be using that, but yeah. So, I'm going to screw the racket ears on and see how that looks. Back when I've done that. So, um, you can see the cat's tail there. I put the rack mounts on the switch, but the screws on them kind of stick out a bit, so you don't really get a really clean look. They do kind of bump out a bit, but that's fine. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, the rack mounts are like this to get it to the full 19 inch spacing. So, yeah. Um, included power cable, comes bent up. And anyone who lives in Australia will know that they're meant to be bent that way, not that way. But anyway, um, go hook this up for power for you. Show you to boot it up. It didn't blow up. The cat just walked on top of it, but yeah. As you can see there, we have a little power light. And um, yeah, it's ready to go. 
if I got two things and plugged them in there, it would probably work. But I don't have anything to plug into it to test it. But yeah, there you go. A quick, brief unboxing of a TP-Link Gigabit 16 port switch with Racky. Um, you just basically just put screws in there. If you want to put feet on them, there's little divots you can see. You just stick the feet in there. Yeah, that's probably it. Bye from me and um, bye from Storm the Cat.